Alright, good afternoon. Um, the title of our descriptive event experiment is called Air Pressure Balloon. We both teach second grade and so this relates to our Georgia performance standard that includes states of matter. Um, we're focusing on how matter can change and we're focusing on uh, gas. So the materials that you need for this experiment are two two liter bottles, two uh, balloons, and something to um, push a hole in the bottom of the uh, two liter bottle. Okay, um, as stated, this um, is dealing with properties of matter, um, specifically gas. So some great opening questions that you could ask your students are, what do they know about gases? Have any of them ever blown up a balloon? And um, do you think that I will be able to blow up this balloon in this bottle? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go with our experiment. Oh wow, nothing happened. Let me try that one more time. <laughs> As you can see, this balloon was not able to blow up. There was nowhere for it to go. So, I have another bottle here, and my friend is going to attempt to blow up that balloon. Let's see if it goes anywhere. Wow, that one did blow up. I wonder if she can do that a second time. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you can discuss with your students um, their ideas um, between the two bottles and why they think maybe this balloon did not blow up inside the bottle and why this balloon did blow up. So after you have um, some of those discussions, you could reveal to your kids that at the bottom of this bottle is a hole. And so the air inside of this, uh, the bottle is able to escape, thus creating um, space for the balloon to fill up inside of the bottle. So clearly the gas, um, gases take up space. Um, and so that is why that the gas inside of this bottle was not allowing this uh, blue balloon to blow up while mm -hmm. this balloon was able to expand. Um, any other thoughts? Um, I think another way that you could present it um, to your students would be talking about the air pressure. As um, Amy said, is that the air pressure inside the bottle without the hole is pressing against the balloon as you're trying to blow it up. Um, and there's nowhere for it to go. So it's kind of like they're fighting over mm. space. Um, and so I think that that's a great example um, an intro to talk about how gas does take up space and even though you can't see it, um, it does take the shape of its container um, and that was clearly seen with the um, bottle with the hole, the yellow balloon took the shape of the two liter bottle. Um, yeah, and you can also ask your kids like what other little extension activities you can do with this bottle. Um, and one thing you can show the kids is after you blow up the balloon, you could plug the hole at the end of the bottle and see what happens. So the balloon does not totally deflate um, because the air around the balloon is holding it in place. Um, so the same lesson, I guess, taught that the air takes the shape of its container. And the air inside the bottle with the hole plugged has nowhere to escape. So that's why the balloon is staying um, expanded or inflated. There you go. So, I think that's about it. Okay, um, some safety concerns to remember is um, doing this experiment multiple times could cause shortness of breath. Um, balloons are a uh, potential choking hazard, so we do not recommend you um, letting your students do this experiment. Um, however, if you want to do that, uh, we highly suggest that you do it with proper supervision, either by yourself 
or another adult inside the classroom. Um, all of these materials can be found at any of your local drugstores or grocery stores. Um, depending on brand, I would say you would spend no more than 3 or $4. Thanks for watching. Okay, thank you.